Hello and welcome to the Pasta Maldonado career mood. Now, Pasta Maldonado is a well-known Formula One driver for his aggressive driving style and his crashing into other drivers and into the barriers. We're going to be using that aggression with Pasta Maldonado to try and win the Formula One World Championship. We're back to when Pasta Maldonado started in 2011 playing Formula One 2011. We're just going through the difficulty settings, got it on expert. Tire simulation, we've got that on, which over a three lap race is going to make big difference. The AI is on Legend, which is the most difficult it can be. All right, we're just adding all 19 tracks for the Formula One season, starting off with Melbourne, going all the way through to Sao Paulo, Brazil, into Lagos. Now, we will be using Pastor Maldonado's aggression in this race, in this championship, and probably involve quite a few crashes too but hopefully ones that won't affect past Maldonado's results. Now, damage is fully on, so we will get damage, as we can see Pasta getting into the car right now. Um, we will get damage. They do have penalties on this game, so if you spin somebody out, the chances are you will get a 10 second penalty, so it's gonna be quite difficult to do. Now, the grid is randomly selected based roughly on the car performance, so we're starting 15th, our teammate Barrichello is starting 18th. Just going to a quick car setup, putting it onto a dry setup, and go to race. Uh, as I was saying about the penalties, but they are a bit lenient on the first lap into the first corner. So we will be using that to our advantage. We will be trying to make the most of the fact that we are less likely to get a penalty for a crash at the first Standing corner. Point. And um, hopefully we'll be able to gain quite a few positions from our 15th place starting. And come away with a few points for our pastor's first race ever in Formula 1. So we join the grid, we can see that Jensen Button, yes, Jensen Button is on pole position, Hamilton is second, there's a Ferrari third, we're 15th, Barrichello is 18th. So we're on the grid, ready to go, as the lights come on, two lights, three lights, four lights, five, and it's go, it's a pretty decent start up through the gears using a bit of curves as well to catch them back up right onto the tail of Perez we're pushing him down into the first corner bang oh it's a big crash and it's worked out really well for Maldonado no damage whatsoever up into eighth place and now going to be trying to make as much moves as possible and diving up the inside brilliant move there running Vettel out wide under attack from Weber on the outside he's going around the outside but it looks like we've made it stick Yes, into fourth place, so overtaking four cars into one corner. Absolutely brilliant move. The leading three are quite a long way ahead, so I don't think we'll be able to catch them up, but we will do what we can. Already 1.8 seconds behind them. Using a bit of curves to try and catch them up there, but still quite a long way behind them. We're now under pressure from Mark Webber. Mark is right behind me. It looks like he's going to jink to the right now. He's gone to the outside. We've covered him off keeping this fourth position. Now the tyres are only going to get more and more worn very quickly over these three laps and it's going to be very, very difficult to keep them behind. The leading three are pulling away now quite significantly further ahead. We've got two of the cars right behind us and keeping them behind is not going to be easy at all. So we head into the one from last corner, slow it right down, get back on the power coming out of the corner, up through the gears on the exit and exit the last corner and Weber's got a run on us he's come up alongside us he's passed us before the start line but we've got our curves battery it's recharged we're using it to get back past Weber round the outside into the first corner breaking later and back up into fourth place very aggressive driving from Maldonado very good move no contact whatsoever which is quite surprising and we're back up into fourth place still under pressure with a big train of cars behind us and the leading three are long gone. No chance of a podium unless one of them has an off or their car packs up. But still holding on to fourth position. Weber still right behind us. We're using a bit of curse to keep him behind. He's unable to find the way past as we slow it back down to carry the speed coming out of this corner. He's going to be trying that move around the outside to all hug the inside to stop him from slotting up the inside. He'll dart across to the right, and when he does that, we'll ease our way across, stopping him from getting a move. Down two gears, 
carrying the speed coming out of it. We're going to save our curves for the end of the lap in case he tries to overtake us on the start line again. Slowing it right down. We've got about five or six cars behind us and they're all going to be trying to pass us. If we make a single mistake, we'll probably drop out of the point. So we can't, we can't afford to make any mistakes like that. Weber looked like he's having a bit of an, a dive up the inside there. He was right behind us, but unable to make anything stick. We're using the remainder of our curves. Weber's still coming up alongside us though. He's alongside now. We've got a bit more curves, and we're using that to stay ahead and keeping that fourth place. We're on the final lap of the race now, and it is going to be very, very difficult. It's now Alonso that's in fifth place, and we do actually have a bit of a gap back to them but they are quite significantly quicker than us that I think they're going to be catching straight back up to the back of us. And we're still not quite there, so we, we do have a bit of breathing space. Oh, a bit of a switch there, losing the back end. You can really see that the tyres are starting to drop off and already Alonso is closed up onto the back of us. Not quite into a position where he can attack yet, but coming out of this corner, I think he'll be right under our rear wing trying to get past covering the inside line there are the arrows so he's right behind us going to the outside we cover him off down the two gears back into fifth gear oh really struggling on the tires now unable to get on the power using a little bit of curves just to keep him behind we've got a little bit left saving for that last corner in case they get the run on us but we are really really struggling with the tires here only three corners to go Oh, he's trying to have a look up the inside. We covered him off. Button wins the race. We're struggling. So, oh, the back's lit up there. Really, really struggling around this last call. Oh, we've had to come out of the power. Using all of our curves now. Alonso's got alongside us. We're coming across, coming across. And Alonso has just, just beaten us. As it looks like Weber was alongside us crossing the line. So we have just lost fourth position on the line. Dropping to fifth with Alonso stealing that place. But we did gain 10 positions from our starting position. And you can see the result there with Jensen Button winning, Hamilton second, Massa third, Alonso fourth, us in fifth, and Barrichello, our teammate, in 11th, just missing out on the points there. And Perez, after that first corner accident, which we may have had something to do with retiring from the race. So the championship points are obviously after one round, we are in fifth place top 10 score points we're already 15 points off of the lead with button leading the championship and in the constructors championship williams are fourth all 10 points coming from pastor maldonado thank you very much for watching i hope you enjoyed it and hopefully we'll see you again for part two this is the replay now with highlights of the race i hope you enjoyed